Hey, it's Ryan from 1075. Come check out this week's build showcase of this 2021 Chevy Silverado 3500 first responder truck. So what we're looking at today is this 2021 Chevy Silverado 3500 for the Snyder Fire District. Um, features fiberglass composite utility body with customized compartments. Uh, vehicle features sound off signals, blueprint electrical system. Uh, we have Whalen lights all over the vehicle. Uh, has the Whalen 295 SLSA 6 siren in it, tied into blueprint so we have more control over everything. In the grill, we got four Whalen T-ions, chrome bezels, we've got CPI housings, with Whalen 700 series. Underneath the entire body of the truck, we have Technique uh, ground lighting to provide lighting at night around the trucks, increase safety. The Whalen are just installed on the A-pillar. Whalen Freedom light bar, factory running boards. On the sides of the body, you'll see we have Whalen M7s, and then we have the M7 scene lights. Our number one compartments customized for their equipment. So we've got, um, Stokes basket, VES ladder, backboards. Uh, we've got 110 USB and 12 volt outlets in every compartment. We've got a slide master slide tray that comes out of both sides. These are with the turtle top tray in it. Compartment lighting, we've got technique and sound off to make sure that the compartment's fully lit. All of our box doors feature integrated uh, locking latches that tied into the vehicle's locking system, so they lock with your key fob. Our D2 compartment, sound off vertical strip lights, adjustable shelf, we've got 110, 12 volt USB power in again, turtle tile trays. D3 compartment, same as our D2, adjustable shelf, turtle tile, power up in the compartment. Back of the truck, Technique third brake light, Whalen M7 warning lights, Whalen uh, TR3 arrow stick that we've rewired into blueprint, so we're able to control the flash patterns, the sink, then we still have arrow stick functions. We have our C6 Whalen stop tail turn lights, and then we have our Technique marker lights, and then we've reintegrated the backup camera into the electrical system, so that way they still have the backup camera on the factory screen. So now we're gonna work from the back. Cosmol battery charger with 20 amp auto eject. Adjustable shelf, another slide master tray with turtle file. IMS latches on all the slide masters. This compartment, still 110 outlets, adjustable shelf. We installed their Knox box, their flashlight bank charger for them. We have a, another storage compartment here to use some of the dead space for O2 bottles. What you'll notice is the inside of the compartments are sprayed with a black bed liner to make the cabinet more durable and the body's been painted to match the chassis. On this side, basically the pass-through of the other side with another slide master cargo tray. As we said before, this is a fiberglass composite body. Unlike steel or aluminum, it won't rust or corrode over time and it is transferable from vehicles. So under the back seat, we have our electronics compartment made out of HDPE. Starting at the side closest to the camera, you'll see we have our 110 distribution panel for our compartment outlets. Um, we've got our fuse panels, our blueprint central controller. We've got our Whalen We Can control module for the light bar, customer supplied radio, and our Kuzmo battery charger. Still giving us access to our spare tire jack and our tool kit. So taking a look at the front cabin area, um, we installed sound off signal dome lights to the front and back. They're red, white with their own individual switches. We have our Whelan Argus controller, uh, custom designed HDPE console, uh, compartment door open indicator. What was nice that we were able to do with this with the blueprint system is we're able to program the light to function differently. So we're able to have it do a steady on when the truck's parked so it's not necessarily a, an eyesore for anybody that's necessarily sitting in the truck, not being distracting, it's just on. But what happens is if you put the car into drive, the light starts to flash more annoying and make it more visible to the driver so that way they know that one of the compartments open. And they can that's flexible and being able to change however the customer wants it set up. So just something nice that you're able to do with. Uh, we've got a 12 volt USB, our radio cutouts, 
our Wayland 295 SLSA 6 siren, slide switch, controls our warning lights, we've got our arrow stick controls, and then we have our alley and scene light functions um, tied into the horn ring system. Customer supplied scanner, cup holders, portable chargers with the USB and 12 volt. We customized this console to add glove holders to the back of it. And then what they also had us do is we added on another pocket storage in the back so that they're able to put like an iPad or um, a tablet or a small binder in the back of it so that they don't have to make anything that falls off the back and they have a place for everything. Um, just something that we're able to do and be flexible with for them. So taking a look at the vehicle, we're in our drive response mode. Uh, you can see that our Patterns on all of our lights have been changed a little bit to make the patterns a little bit more aggressive. We're able to control, to have different patterns also. So this intersection light can be more uh, fast and it can always be changed. Our headlight flasher is currently on. You see we sped up our light bar pattern. We added in our flashing alley lights and then all of our side body warning lights are also now flashing a little bit more fast. Have any questions about this vehicle, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out with your next project.